you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, yield just a minute to uh, Congressman Rushenthaler. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. So, uh, some of the remarks I made about the IRS were were questioned. I just want to say that the question isn't the exact number <coughs> of firearms that's being issued to the IRS. The question is, why does the IRS need firearms to begin with? And I find it absolutely rich that a party that wants to send social workers to answer domestic police calls, that party, they want IRS agents to have fully automatic weapons. Let me just put this in perspective. When I was in the JAG Corps, I was sent, I was in Baghdad, sent in the red zone. You know what I was issued? A nine millimeter Beretta. And that's what I got to go in the red zone. And you got in your party wants uh, agents, IRS agents to have fully automatic weapons. It just completely out of touch. We have to find um, out about that. It just totally, I, I, I just, totally, totally out of touch. So again, my question is, What's why, did, why do we need eighty-seven thousand? Why do we need eighty-seven thousand IRS agents? And what why do the they citation? need to be armed the as if they're going into from? a war zone? Where does the I think information it's a fair come question, from? Question, if, yeah. if I may. Uh, well, out of respect to my good friend from South gotcha. Carolina, I'll yield back. Where does the data come from? Uh, thank you, guy. You know, I've sat here.